Welcome to Watch IQ Watch Reviews. On this channel, I review my watches in my watch collection and provide informative details on the watch features and specifications. If you like the channel, please subscribe and hit the like bell so you can get notified on my new videos. Hello, and welcome to another watch review from Watch IQ. Today I have a Casio Mike Romeo Whiskey 200 Hotel 3 Bravo. This is a Casio three hand analog rotating bezel watch. It has day and date display, and it's 100 meter water resistant. So, as a collector, what caught my eye when I seen this on Amazon, it was $19, but it had the day and date on it, which was almost unheard of for that cost point of watch. I really like the green on the bezel and the watch face. I like the 12 and 24 hour format. I like the stainless steel crown. It's protected so you don't break it off. And another nice touch they put on this is it has these like divots on the band, like on these G-Shock DW5600s or the 6900s. It's a nice touch. And here's the manual, it comes in like nine different languages. And I just recommend just download from Casio's website, type in module 5125, download it to your phone or your computer. It's easier to read that way. So this has that rotating bezel. It doesn't click it's smooth. It's kind of tight, so it's harder to remove, but I wouldn't trust it for scuba diving. And the way you set this, you basically pull the crown out twice, you hear two clicks, and then you can set the time counterclockwise or clockwise, depending on where you're at on your time. And then one click out, and you'll set your, your day in your date. This is a really light watch. It has one free loop. It has a plastic buckle that says Casio on it. It's one tang. I think this weighs probably around 40 grams max. That's how light it is. Now I've already wore this watch once and it's really comfortable. You can't even tell it's on. So it has a stainless steel stamp back. 10 bar case in China. It has a side profile. Now this looks like it has some loom on the hands. We can test that. So when you set the watch, is another nice feature, like a military style. So when you pull out the crown, it stops the second hand. So you can like sync your, your time with everybody else. When you push it in, boom, it starts it again so that your time is synced with the other, other people in your unit. Very nice watch. Well, let's see if we can test this loom out here, see if my lights are going to cooperate with me. So it looks like the hands have some loom on it. $19 on Amazon, what a deal, right? So I did another video on, it's actually a MRW, a Mike Romeo Whiskey Dash 310. And, but that one's a solar, this one's not solar. And this has a 10 year battery life on it. What a deal, right? One thing you gotta be careful uh, with on this watch is, this is not a mineral crystal. This is like a plastic crystal on here and it will scratch. It's, it's, it sticks up just as high as the bezel, right? So it, it will scratch easy. And the product that I use is called this Poly Watch. I use it for my mineral crystal and my plastic crystal watches. And it works really good. So, um, I'm gonna check some of the dimensions here for you. So the thickness of this watch, about 12 millimeters. The width at the crown. Forty-five millimeters. 
and lug width about 17 millimeters and lug to lug it's about 39 millimeters I wouldn't be too worried about lug to lug on these watches because it's not a high-end watch right so if you're buying a Rolex or another thousand dollar Casio G-Shock and I'd be worried about the lug to lug because you, know, you want the you want the watch to fit properly on your wrist. This watch I'm not too worried about. It's got a flexible, nice flexible band on it. Makes it easier to fit your wrist. But as far as the lug width, uh, if you want to change the band out with a NATO strap, you can do that too. So it's a nice watch from Casio. Well, I appreciate you watching my video. And if you like the channel, please subscribe and hit the like bell. Get notified when you get it to, when I put out another video. I have one in the works besides this one. And uh, thank you again for watching. Have a good one.